Hi, it's Mike from SexEd and today I am going to talk to you about anatomical models in, um, in the context of uh, female genital cutting, whether it is excision, infibulation or elective re-exposition of the clitoris surgery. A couple of years ago, I partnered with uh, GAMS Belgium, which is an organization I absolutely adore and respect. And uh, we organized a casting session with uh, 10 models who have had different experience of um, excision and fibrillation and reconstructive surgery. And uh, so we did those casts and like had, um, had a little bit of a talk about what would be the most pressing model that we, we would need to release to answer the need of patients because it's always what we put first, the need of patients, people who are directly concerned. And uh, we came to the conclusion that what was most uh, urgent was to provide people who have experienced pe uh, female genital cutting with models of what bodies look like once they have had the re-exposition surgery. Because People uh, sometimes consider having this surgery, but as usual, to make an informed decision, you need to know what is the result that you can expect for such a surgery, what is the context and everything that goes around. So we decided to prioritize to create uh, this kit. So it is a three reproduction of bodies of women who have had excision, infibulation, and who elected to have the re-exposition of the clitoris surgery. And what is really interesting is you can see a huge difference in terms of aesthetic, meaning in the case of this one, you see that the clitoris is really visible and up on the surface. But in this one, the clitoris is really buried under the skin. And in this case, the clitoris is an in-between of buried and on the surface. And this is the same surgery done by the same surgeon, so it is not a case of which surgeon is using which technique. It's just like sometimes the bodies will heal in different way. And this way of healing does not affect the sexual response, but <coughs> sorry, but it does affect the aesthetic result at the end. So depending what is the outcome that the patient is looking for, if the patient is looking for an outcome that is more aesthetic than functional because they want to feel well, they want to see what has been taken from them. It's really important that they know that the result can vary and that they take an informed decision based on this knowledge. So that's why we released this, um, those models. Um, as usual, they will come with the leaflets where the, because like a body never comes without the human, and so in this leaflet, you've got the, um, the people who were cast who are sharing part of their experience because, and whatever they wanted to disclose, like they are freely disclosing it and it is available to you. And it's really important because it can resonate with your clientele if you are ever working with people who have had excision and infibulation. And um, so if you, yeah, if you ever encounter you work with this population, know that this model exists uh, and please get in touch if you want some more models because it's a population that is most of the time underdeserved. Uh, medical professionals are not always trained about how to interact with them, how to accompany them. And uh, so yeah, let's all work together so that everyone receives the best care and uh, that our medical professionals are equipped to deal with everyone. Bye!